Welcome to Techverse. If Elon Musk and NASA make a terrible new find on Neptune, it's possible that it would alter the trajectory of human history forever. Known across the globe as the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, it's one of the most well-known federal organizations in the United States. Many of America's most memorable moments have been made possible as a result of the research and achievements of the group. In addition to being one of the largest government agencies in the United States, NASA also has one of the most generous budgets in the world, which allows them to fund a significant number of high-powered investigations. NASA, on the other hand, has opened the door to an entirely new world of possibilities as a result of its collaboration with Elon Musk. Among such historical occurrences, the discovery of the planet Neptune stands out to be the most recent example. Can you tell me of any new discoveries that Elon Musk and NASA have made on Neptune and how they might affect you? As we investigate Elon Musk and NASA's incredible new discovery on Neptune, which has the potential to alter the course of history, keep an eye out for the future episodes. You might be surprised to learn that you have a personal best for the furthest distance you've traveled in one day. When flying from one continent to another, the distance you could travel would have been in the tens of thousands of kilometers. Comparatively speaking, the voyage of Voyager 2 was a piece of cake. During its voyage to the planet Neptune, 12 years after its launch from Earth, the Voyager 1 spacecraft found itself traveling in the opposite direction of its twin spacecraft, which had also traveled in the other direction. It had been on an orbital tour around the solar system, and it is currently in that orbital voyage. That which is discovered on Neptune was nothing short of spectacular. It was discovered by the spacecraft that there was a big and severe storm on the planet's surface, which allowed scientists to take the first photograph of the planet's rings ever taken. Despite the best efforts, NASA scientists were completely unprepared for the storm captured on film by Voyager 2. When the wind blows in the counterclockwise direction, extreme wind speeds of up to 1500 miles per hour or 2414 kilometers per hour have been recorded in the southern hemisphere, according to reports. When this was written, it was the most violent storm ever recorded on the planet. Because of how dark it was, astronomers named it the Great Dark Spot after the planet Jupiter. When the Hubble Space Telescope took its first glimpse at the planet five years later, it discovered that it had completely vanished from the surface of the Earth. Many people were perplexed as to why the winds were blowing so ferociously today and they weren't alone. For their part, scientists on Neptune have been bewildered by the variety of phenomena, not at least of which has been the huge wind. It was a complete mystery, just as it had been with the water's temperature. Despite the fact that Neptune is farther away from Sun than Uranus, the Voyager 2 spacecraft discovered that Neptune is actually warmer than Uranus despite their distance from the Sun. When it comes to space travel, traditional knowledge says that the farther you get away from the Sun, the colder it gets. This belief turned out to be wrong. When compared to the planet Uranus, the planet Neptune has a higher temperature. What is the origin of the heat emanating from Neptune and what is the source of this heat? When asked about the source of the extra heat, scientist Brian Cox commented on the BBC's The Planet Show, which investigated the topic. The source of this heat remains a mystery. The planet's program was one of the several that investigated the matter. The other question, which proved to be significantly more difficult to answer, was whether or not a link could be established between the two characteristic characteristics that were present, strong wind and high temperature. One or two scientists have even proposed the theory that solving one riddle will lead to the solution of another. How would one go about reaching this goal, on the other hand, is unclear. While it is possible to calculate the temperature of Neptune, it is far more difficult to do so. In order to determine the average temperature of the Earth, for example, you can collect measurements on the planet's solid surface and use the information to compute the planet's global mean temperature. As a result of the planet's predominant composition of gaseous components, this is not conceivable on Mars. As a result, in order to determine the temperature of Neptune, you must do so from a significant height above the planet. Another decision must be made at this stage, and that is at what height the temperature measurement will be performed. In the end, it turns out that the Voyager 2's temperature reading was incorrect after all. It should go without saying that the temperature was measured from the highest stratum. At that time, the temperature of Neptune is not significantly greater than the temperature of Uranus, which is a significant difference in terms of temperature. This should not occur because of Neptune's higher distance from the Sun than the other planets, which should result from its greater distance from the Sun than other planets receiving less solar illumination. 
Neptune and Earth have similar temperatures, which gives the appearance that Neptune is warmer than Earth in terms of the amount of heat it emits, in contrast to the amount of heat it absorbs from the Sun, indicating that it's a gaseous planet. According to Anthony Del Genio of the NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies, observations from the Voyager spacecraft show that Neptune generates more than twice as much heat as it takes from the Sun, whereas Uranus does not. Neptune is the only planet that generates more heat than it takes from the Sun. While Neptune is an uncommon planet in this aspect, it is not unusual in any other element of its chart. To be honest, Uranus is unique in this sense because other planets such as Jupiter and Saturn also generate more heat than they absorb from the Sun, giving the impression that Uranus is out of place. The fact that Jupiter is the warmest of the gas giants, followed by Saturn and then Neptune, has already been studied in detail. As one moves farther away from the Sun, a pattern in temperature demonstrates that Jupiter is the warmest of the gas giants. Uranus is the planet that appears to be out of position in relation to the rest of the planets. According to Del Genio, the anomalous discovery was caused by the fact that Uranus does not have a significant internal heat source. Uranus does not have a significant internal heat source. The fact that Uranus does not have a large internal heat source, however, explains this anomalous conclusion, according to the astronomer. Consequently, Neptune is seeking to raise its temperature to that of Uranus, even though the latter is unable to generate any additional heat other than that obtained from the Sun. The question then becomes, what exactly is an internal heat source and how does it function? To put it another way, when these planets were formed, the heat that remained from the development of the solar system was responsible for the formation of the planets. This phenomenon is caused by the Kelvin-Helmholtz contraction, which occurs when the heat from the early solar nebula is released into the surrounding space. Because of the gravitational contraction of the planets, gravitational contraction is the primary source of excess heat on Neptune, Jupiter and Saturn. This occurs as a result of the planets' gravitational contraction. In response to the planet's gravitational contraction, the material sliding inward experiences a transformation from potential energy to thermal energy, which is then released upwards from the planet's atmosphere. Clearly, something has happened to Uranus in order for it to cease producing heat in this way. That was all from this video. Thanks for watching it. Hope it was interesting enough. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.